And he came in and he says, you're next. He said, two more days, I wouldn't be here. I got very sick without realizing how bad. I have a very high tolerance for pain, but this put me down and I couldn't drink water. The, the, the stomach aches were so bad. And, but I've experienced things before. And my lovely wife encouraged him to, to see a doctor because it just didn't seem right, you know. And it was at that very end, I remember him coming through the door and laying his head down on the counter. And I was like, Ray, are you all right? And he goes, I don't feel good. So it was a, like a Friday. And that whole weekend, he would just lay on the sofa, not do anything, couldn't eat, do anything, you know. So um, finally, I think it was Monday, by the time I convinced him to, that we're going to the emergency room now. <laughs> so he, he did, he got dressed and we went. And in, yeah. the, in the testing that they did, the x-rays, all the different testing yeah. that they did in the emergency room, come to find out there was a surgeon there that yes. Tommy you Shelton, knew, which I love. <laughs> because you worked at the mm -hmm. hospital mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah. And he came in and he says, you're next. He said, two more days, I wouldn't be here. And He had so, a perf perforated bowel. And so everything was spewing out inside of me. And they took me, did the operation. I won't go into detail on that, but the operation, I knew that I wasn't alone, that God was with me. And so many people prayed that I could feel the yeah. presence of prayer, yeah. prayer upon me. Absolutely, yeah. And with that presence of, pr of prayer, I knew the Lord was with me and I wasn't, I had no apprehensions whether I went, whether I stayed, I was fine with it. The only apprehension I have is not having everything done and prepared enough for my family. I could just feel a peace, um, even as bad as Ray was, um, for, there was just such a, a peace over me that it was going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the presence of yeah. peace was amazing. Yeah. I lost a third of my body weight. Many people here didn't believe I was going to make it. But God has something else for me. He has more for me. And I've made a complete recovery. I've lost a colostomy bag. That was done in a shorter period of time than what yeah. the doctor thought would be possible. And and. God revealed to me in this whole process of healing, he said, you tithe to the church, which we do. But he says, you tithe in your effort. You put in 10%. I will put in 90%. And there, by the grace of God, I did what he told me to do. Yeah. And I am here. Yeah. And... Uh, I don't know why other than he has given me the opportunity to use this as a tool, put it in my toolbox where I can reach out and pray for others, bless others and guide them through pain, suffering and the things that God does not have for them. It's this world that has, that steals away the true presence that we can have with our Lord. I don't, I can't put it into words, the things that I have seen and walked through, and God carried me, God carried me yeah. with the love of Jesus, oh, how wonderful. Yeah.